thought we were getting a little bit tired at the end, but uh, down the stretch, this is the f first one of these games. We've had three here against, two here against really good teams, and we just couldn't make a play right at the end. And uh, today we made the plays at the end uh, that you have to make to win, made our free throws. Um, Judah made a couple great drives and made his free throws. At the end, the last play, we played really good defense. They didn't get anything to look at. And, uh, you know, we wanted to really move out on their three-point shooters, make it hard for them. We knew we'd give them some stuff inside. Clark really hurt us. He hasn't been playing. He's back. He's a really good offensive player. He really hurt us um, down there in the low, low spot and stepping out. But when they took the lead, we made a couple big plays. Every time they took the lead at the end, we made a big play. We weren't able to do that earlier. Um, obviously, if Jesse makes a three, we should figure out a way to win. But every time we got a five or seven point lead, we'd make a mistake. We didn't make a layup, um, didn't convert an easy play, and they scored at the other end. Smith is a tremendous shooter. We did an unbelievable job on him for a long time. But, you know, when you bank him in from the deep corner, that's not easy to do. But we just uh, we just stayed the course. Um, I thought, you know, Chris I thought was good tonight. Joe was really good. Uh, Judah, you know, for us to win, we have to have everybody. I thought there were some rebounding situations that, you know, we just didn't get the ball at the end there. I thought there was some situations where we should have been able to secure the rebound. We didn't get it and they scored. That hurt. But at the end, we made a couple plays right at the end and uh, that was the difference in the game. Coach, just now back-to-back -back games where J Judas had four points in the first half and then double figures in the second. What have you been telling him at halftime or what has he been doing to turn it, away, turn it around? No, he just keeps aggressive, keeps moving, keeps going. He's been really good in the last parts of games. Really good. You know, Jim, earlier you mentioned that you, you didn't win a couple of these games. Do you think at this point, like, you've, 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 you've gone through enough of these situations where you're a little more poised and have figured it out? Well, I think we did make some plays in those games, but we just didn't make enough. You know, we're making more now. But again, uh, these are high-level games, and um, you're going to win some, you're not going to win some. They're, they're tough to win against these teams. And... Uh, you know, we were able to get it done tonight. But we made good plays in some in those games. We just couldn't quite, like North Carolina, just couldn't get a rebound and a free throw. It's one play. It wasn't a lot of plays, just one play. And, uh, you know, so. But even in these games that we've won lately, there were a lot of key plays at the end of the games. I mean, the game may have ended up 8 or 10, but it was really, like, we were down in both Boston College and Florida State on the road, six, seven, whatever minutes to go, and you have to make plays, and we've been making them. So, again, this team has, has been able to get better. Um, we're obviously a lot better team now, and we're going to have to continue to get better these next few games. But, you know, we'll just get ready. You know, I think NC State's a really good team, um, really good, and uh, we just have to get ready. Duke's really good. And uh, just have to get ready for them and see what we can do. Jeff, what did you think of the way Jesse matched up with DJ Burns, their big man, as the game progressed? Well, it really ended up being a matchup one on one because they we we left him alone in there against Burns, and Burns is tough. He makes that little push shot. He's really good. I've watched him all year. I mean, he's a good passer. He's got that little shot in there um, in the mid post area. Um, and then, you know, he's going to have trouble guarding Jesse. Jesse didn't finish well for a lot of the game. He struggled. And at the end there, he got finished a couple. But he still gets bumped off balance a little bit. He's getting better at it and, you know, making progress there. You're doing a lot of these games. These teams are taking a lot of three, but you're getting to the line a lot more. And how important is that for you to get, to, to get more free throws in these games than the other teams? Well, teams that are shooting a lot of threes aren't going to the foul line much. So we're trying to get the ball to Jesse. Judah's driving. Joe's trying to drive. 
Um, I thought Joe got hit a couple times today, um, but you know they didn't call it. But you know we we should get to the line more, the way we're playing, the way teams are playing against us. Coach, you kept Terquavion Smith in check, uh, and especially in the first half, allowed just two points to him. What was key to take him away? Oh, we were just pushing out on him. It's uh, our zone changes. It's not just standing around. We're moving out on him, trying to keep him from getting comfortable. That created some stuff, room for Joyner and Burns inside, but, you know, we just didn't want him to get going, and then he finally did get going. And, uh, you know, he's a great shooter when he gets going. He's really, really good. Um, you hold him to four for 12, that's that's pretty good. Jeff, how can a win like this help ignite this team as you look to make this, this late season? Well, we're playing as well. We've won three games in a row, so we've been ignited already. So we just got to keep playing and get ready for the next game. Coach, uh, in the first half, Judah had a couple of dimes on some dunks, and uh, it really led the team. Uh, to some good momentum. Can you talk about his progression as a playmaker? Yeah, he made some great plays. He had six assists at halftime. And the second half, he still got some, but he was looking to get to the basket too. He's getting better. He's gotten better from day one. It's a learning experience. It takes time. Um, but, you know, he's really gotten better. He's, he's pretty good. He's as good as any freshman around. Coach, going into this next game against Duke, is there any different feeling without Coach K on the opposing sideline? No, it's, I worry about their players. I don't worry about Coach K. He hasn't scored in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> they got really good players, and that's what we'll be looking at. Coach, you excited for Springsteen? Pardon? Springsteen in September? Yeah, we'll think about that later. Jim Burns is such a big hit inside. Do you know about what Jesse was able to do when he got the ball in there tonight? He just tried to get use his dribble. He didn't do it, and then he did it a couple times, but he didn't do it consistently. And you know that's something he's got to get better at. But you know Burns is a heck of a player. I mean, I'll tell you one thing. I've seen a lot of big guys like him. I haven't seen. He reminds me of Ruta Randolph that played. Uh, we had him on a junior Olympic team. Zach Randolph, a lot, a lot like him. Only he's even bigger. <laughs> But he reminds me a lot of him. None of these people know who he is, but who Zach Randolph was. But that's, look it up. Google it. Uh, but he's that kind of player. That kind of player. Really good player. They've got a really good team. I watched them a lot this year. I mean, they, they've taken some teams apart. Um, they got the inside and outside. Joiners really brought a lot. He was really, really good today. He was... He made some shots over Jesse. He got the ball to people. He really played good. Really played good. Coach, Chris played all but six minutes today. What's he done to earn that play time? You know, he's getting more aggressive. He's he's the best shooter in that position, I think. And, uh, you know, I think he's always going to make a shot. He doesn't always do it, but I think he's going to. I think he's getting more comfortable. I say. Jim, I was late getting in here. Did you mention Jesse's three-pointer? Uh, yeah, I mean, you should win. Offense. If you don't win the game when he makes that, it's, something's wrong because he's telling you you're going to win the game when that goes in. <laughs> All right, we'll see you soon.